live at Champions in Georgetown. It's Redskins Saturday night. The show that dares to ask, what are you doing home tonight? With co-host and former head hog, George Stark, WAVA's morning man, Don Geronimo, Washington Post sports writer, Tony Kornheiser, and Washington Redskins defensive end, Charles Mann. Our Crystal City Joker of the Week, Dan Triggerbop. And of course, the high kicking choir boys. Now, here's your host, Pete Wysocki. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Redskins Saturday Night. You know, we're 3-0, and, oh, and coincidentally, so are the Washington Redskins, all by themselves in first place in the NFC East. How about that, huh? <laughs> and who could forget last Sunday's performance? 30-27 over the San Diego Chargers. In the fourth quarter, 116, no timeouts. Jay Schrader gets up under center, and he and Gary Clark combine to do this. Take your time. You got plenty of time. Get up, set your offensive line, call a play, snap it off. And then in a third and ten situation in the fourth quarter, Dan Fouts needs to complete this pass to keep the drive going. But it takes the fastest man in the National Football League, Daryl Green, to make this play. Here, and there's a great defensive play. Number 22, Curtis Jordan's lying in the weeds. Dan Fouts throws the ball, and Curtis Jordan personally slams the door shut on he and the rest of the San Diego Chargers. And it is intercepted. Curtis Jordan. He said, I mean, is, is that Curtis Jordan? Is that Curtis Jordan running full speed? Well, wait a minute. I don't want to say that Curtis Jordan is slow, but the Redskins couldn't have had a better guy intercept that pass. It looked like it took him forever to get across field. The clock is running down. You can see it on the screen, and his steps are getting slower and slower before he finally hit the dirt. Last week, George, you had mentioned that you thought that big plays by the defense would win the game, and we saw a couple of those. Well, it, it was the kind of game that... When Dan Faust got the ball back at a minute and 16, I thought to myself, this is vintage Dan Faust. I mean, he loves it. He's got to love it. A minute and 16, you're down by, you know, three points. You want that last drive, that's what you want. Right. The defense shut him down. Of course, our partner over here. Well, see, that's what I was alluding to. I'm going to Don Geronimo, you predicted big plays by the offense. Of course. Right. I was right. I was, uh, I was chatting with uh, Joe Gibbs about it last week, as you guys both know. Uh, it was just a lucky guess. Let's be honest. George said defense, so I said offense. I wanted to bring up one point that's not football related. Can I just for one second? Oh, okay. Did you guys happen to see the Emmy Awards? You know, no, the TV no, honors. We, we Can we have a round nine. of applause from the audience for Shelley Long's song and dance? Well, number? okay. I right. just wanted to show you that. <laughs> to me, hey, now, wait a minute. You know, to you me, talk, that is entertainment. You're talking just, about song and dance. Oh. Here's an example. Tony Kornheiser's been practicing his vertical jump all week long <laughs> in order to get on the bandwagon. Hey, eh, Tony? I mean, I read the, I read the article here. I think here. I can it's do 11 inches now vertically. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what's it feel like? The guys are winning. I mean, don't you feel a little bit funny if you have to write an article kind of like anti-Redskins? Well, I wouldn't feel funny if I had to write an anti-Redskins article because that would be the last article that I was writing. <laughs> I would feel like I had to get out of town in a hurry. It, it looks very good for them. I mean, this is a very big win. And this, I think, forever, at least for this year forever, ends the quarterback controversy. And the only way Doug Williams is going to warm up now is if there's some sort of cholera right. epidemic. Right, that's, that's, is the that's guy. true. Schrader that's is true. The guy. But now Seattle comes in. They're 3-0, and oh, man. You know, and who's coming with them? Rusty Tillman, special teams coach. They call him the king. The king. When when the Redskins made special teams famous, this man was there. I was there, and that the head George of those Allen, guys, correct? George Allen, right. was the coach, and his special team guy was Rusty Tillman, A.K.A. the king of special teams, but who last week single-handedly beat New England. They blocked two punts. Big guys running fast. They have better team speed on special teams. We've got a big fast, mean guy in our audience, and we'll have him in just a couple of seconds. 